In for the Night is a podcast that discusses movies, random topics, and gives you that excuse to just stay in for the night. And you messed it up. No, I didn't. You said that. There's no that. In I know. I added it because I was being dramatic. <laughs> sure you were. You're trying to make fun of me, you evil, evil You fucked lady. it up last time. So if anybody listens regularly and you notice that he fucked it up, please message me. I love it. I thought I like it how, was perfect. He, re, it was he repositions perfect. himself so he can discuss it. Yeah. So I can talk into the mic. In into the, the mic. mic. <laughs> In for the night. In, in for the night. In to the, to the mic. mic. There we go. There we go. We got that. I in. like it. I like it a lot. The little puppy. No. Hi, puppy. Go over there, Arrow. Go lay down. So we watch. Well, actually, let's talk about our week. How was your week? Uh, I worked my seven days this week, so that was fun. That was fun. But now we have vacation coming up. A word uh, for yourself. Hoo, 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 hoo. Super excited. So that's what I was just looking forward to. I still got to yeah. work a double tomorrow, but at least I'm off Wednesday now. Did a little vacation day. I was like, Vacate. I don't want to work three days in a row. One of those being a double day and then only get a little bit hours of sleep and then have to freaking go to the Bahamas and be sleepy the first day. So I was like, no, we are going to take that day off. So I did. So. Now my week is great because I'm off Wednesday. And we're going to go to the Bahamas. I'm super excited. If anybody is planning on traveling, make sure you guesstimate. Go to the Bahamas. Well, guesstimate what you need to go there because it's very stressful, actually. To go to the Bahamas, you have to have a health visa. And on occasion, it can take 72 hours to clear. So you have to make sure you get your COVID test early. So please yeah, do that. We took our one COVID test today. It was going to be like three to five days. And then we're like, yeah, that's not going to work. So we had to go pay a million bucks to go get like an actual rapid one that we get back within, I think it was like 15 10 minutes, yeah, 15, 10, minutes. 15 minutes. So that's just your best route is if you want to get results back quick, sadly, you got to pay. Sadly, it it is what it is. It is what it bees. My week was okay. I was closing out the week Babe, for. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Babe, how was your week? I was just like going into <laughs> it. I I didn't I did, realize you, you asked stop. me my week, but I had second time. You I suck. Had not asked you, you suck at it. So was. I'm not even because you just you're talking and you go right into it. I, like so, I have to interrupt you, like I just did. And ask you how your week is. Because so, you're rude as fuck. Babe, 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 babe. How was your week? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was that? I'm just, <laughs> just going to punch you in the face. It's That's great. fine. Whatever makes you feel Because you're so better. rude. You know, I was talking about it. And I needed to ask you like you asked me. So As I you're you, picking at your finger. Anywho, why, are you, how, why are you picking at your finger? I always do. How is your week? It was good. I was closing out the week because I'm going on vacation. I took the full week off, so I had to, like, pile up my days. But I had to make sure everybody at work was okay, so... Which they're probably not. I hope they are, because that stresses me out, because I just want to check my email and make sure everybody's okay, but at the same rate, I can't do that because it's going to suck me in, and it's going to be, like, a vortex of, like... Being like, oh, I got to go to work, babe, for three hours because my job... Because that's just who I am, but I can't do that. So, I'm not doing it. I'm being strong. I'm trying to be strong. She's, yeah, exactly. I was about to say trying to be strong. I haven't checked my email today. Yeah, it's well, Monday. Give it, give it a few days. Give it a few days. When I'm in Bahamas, fuck that. I'm not going you anywhere. still got Wednesday. You can check it Wednesday. I probably will check it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's a great day. Not if you check your email, it's not. Oh, you're so angry. All right. So we watch The Fifth Element. Fifth Element. I'm trying oh. to sound like the, the evil oh. people on that game oh. or that movie. That <laughs> was sexy. I liked it. Trying to be evil and it's sexy. Jesus. <laughs> you know what I like. All right. Ooh, apparently. So, The Fifth Element. That was a great movie. I Give want me you... my synopsis. Synopsis. He's going he's gonna to read your synopsis. This is, my, this is 
I have a million favorite movies, but this is like he was my quoting two, it. My two top. Oh my god! Top, top top favorite movies probably in the whole existence is Fifth Element and The Mask. Oh my god! He was quoting it throughout this movie. I've never seen him do that I, before. I lo- I've seen it. I don't even know how. He many was times like, I've seen uh, it. "Uh, I can't even do it now because it was so crazy. You would just do it like I can right do before. little little parts, but I can say oh like, my god. especially Bruce Willis is some of his lines. I can I can say it right before he does like perfect. Like he wanted the perfect being. Um, ah, this one, and then my third. If I have a top three, then obviously. Obviously, what is it? Deadpool? No. I mean, that yeah. is there, but no. Come on, babe. You know it. It's like a three-hour long movie. Avengers? Nope. There's tall people in it. There's a tree involved. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> nope. I'm pretty sure people are out there guessing it. They're like, Avatar! They're already saying that. Oh, fuck. How yeah. did you not know? I gave you... The biggest it's, hints of the whole thing. It's only two Tall hours people long. with a two hours, three. I thought it was three hours. I think it's over two hours. Pretty sure it it's is over, over two, two hours. hours, but it's like not three hours. So if I had a list of three, it would be, I don't know. Uh, it would probably be mass first, fifth element, and then avatar. Like, okay, those so are my top three. Prepare to watch the mask soon. I love the mask. Jim Carrey is my boy. My if boy. I could meet him in real life, like I would. I would probably cream my pants. Like, no. If anybody can help me facilitate that. I would love to meet Jim Carrey. I would love to meet him. He is. I, he's I just, so cool. He, he's he an awesome so cool. dude. He's very out there. Like, like one of our good homeboys is. Like, he, they remind me of each other, even though they don't look anything alike. But they are both very out there. They speak their minds. And I love it. I just love it. But Jim Carrey is my boy. Anyway. So, so we're, we're going to read the synopsis. Synopsis. Snopsi penis penai. So obviously, again, the movie was the fifth element. What year? And <clears throat> I'll get to that. And because it has it down here, um, it got a seven point six out of ten on IMDb. Got seventy oh, percent on Rotten Potatoes. So I guess the higher the number, the better. Because obviously, the fifth. I'm element surprised is a really it got movie. only seventy. And it got a fifty-two percent TV guy, whatever the hell that means. But oh, out of TV Google guy. users, it got ninety percent. Oh hey! Like by like this movie, so you just have to like Fifth Element. If you don't, then you're gonna rot in hell. Anyway, um, <laughs> in the twenty three century, a New York cabbie, Corbin Dallas. I love that name too, Corbin Dallas. Bruce Willis finds the fate of the world in his hands with. Lilu, Milia, I'm probably going to mess this up, but Milia Jovovich falls into Jovovich. a trap. Uh, as the embodiment of the fifth element, Lilu needs to combine with other other four to keep the approaching great evil from destroying the world. Together with Father Vito Cornelius, I like that name too, uh, Ian Holm, and Zanny broadcaster Ruben Rod, Ruby Rod. Zanny. I'll let you say this, babe. You say it. Go ahead. Ruby Rod, Chris Tucker. He was amazing in that movie too. Dallas must race against time and the wicked industrious Zork. Ugh, he always plays an evil person. He always plays an evil person. Can the you guy finish that, reading out the sorry, synopsis? Uh, like- Gory Oldman. <laughs> Oldman. Uh, to save humanity. Release date was May 9, nineteen ninety-seven. Oh, hey, look. Hi. What, what, Ten seven, years. Seven, seven days until... No, six. Sorry. Jesus. I thought it was a tenth. Anyway, director was Luke Basin, starring Bruce Lu- Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman, Milia Jovovich, Chris Tucker, and Ian Holm. <laughs> singer. Oh, so that... that was, Like you said, it was a real singer. She was an actual singer. She was uh, an actual opera Inba singer. Mula. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know how to pronounce I have that. To, but I then have to see it got a bunch of awards... And blah, blah, blah. But awesome cast. Super. Oh, my God. E.M. Home is old now. Can you just. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Can you stop judging him in your synopsis? Oh, shoot. He passed away already. Oh, no. R.I.P. Ian. I did not even know that. I just. Oh, it, heart He goes died out. in 2020. June 19, 2020. In London, United Kingdom. Fuck. 
He was born in 1931. Holy crap, holy. He lived a long time. Yeah. Roll R.I.P., my man. He had a bunch of kids, too. So live on in his name. But Living good movie. Prosper. Super good movie. Oh, I love it to death. So let's discuss as our dogs are fighting Wrestling behind us. So as we go into the movie, it starts in 1914. Oh, my, see, I didn't even like, see that part. My favorite year, because I am all about the Aztec, like digging, not even Aztec, Egyptian diggings, <clears throat> hieroglyphics. I'm all about that shit. I want to go into the caves. I want to see darkness. But the thing is, the darkness didn't happen because of? Because of me? Aziz. Oh, Aziz. I, I needed you to like, support I that. Was you not did on not, that. You one. were not I there. Was not on that you one. were not there. He kept falling asleep. So technically, yeah, he did cute. support the, the darkness. That's why I was confused. It was really cute. He because... fell asleep like three times. And so Aziz was there. And the thing is, I am all about hieroglyphics. I used to like, I was all, when I was a kid, gonna like segue into my childhood. Um, I used to watch the movie Mummy. I love the Mummy. The Mummy with Brendan Fraser, my future husband. Love you, but it's gonna happen. Anyway, so I was trying to like speak the language and be it. And I was like, when I got to college, I was like, dude, I want to become an Egyptologist. But that was not a thing at the university I went to. So that's sad. Anyway, so when he was reading about the hieroglyphics, are you guys going to be like done? They need to go like over there. They are going to knock this curtain down. Go. 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 Y'all need to. Not, okay, now y'all can play as much as you want. Sorry. We Sorry. We have like a studio curtain thing set up and the dogs are like rolling around on and they're going to rip our curtain out of the ceiling. So And we didn't want that. So but then that's... they still play right next. Okay, they moved over. <laughs> but they're still playing. So it's great. And one of them is coming here to hang out. Anyway, so I love hieroglyphics. I love Egyptology. I was all about it. And I wish I could have studied that, but I felt like I couldn't. So I didn't. But that's my downfall in life. But this guy, it was not his. Actually, it was because he got murdered. Hmm? By the healing. Murder? The first guy? Guy who was like brushing, and then the 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 hot dude had the gun, and he was like. They shoot. didn't kill him. I think they just made him pass out. I think the guy, I because I don't think really? he, did he actually check his pulse. Because I think he did, but I don't I really, think they killed him. No, I really think he they killed him because he didn't show up later. None of them did. Like, that was it. it and the hot dude was like, I have a gun. Maybe it's 300 years later. So none of them are going to be alive. So I don't think he killed him. I think Yeah, but the him. thing is, the door's closed and the alien got his No, no, stuck. that was the door where the alien was. Remember, they were trying to figure, they were looking at the painting or the, the symbols on that wall. And then he put a key in there. And that wall that he was looking at opened up. But they never went in. Only the aliens did. So they were still in the open. Yeah, area. but then 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 the the priest was outside and the alien had his <clears throat> hand out and it was like yeah. here's the key. Yeah, but because he was trapped in that door, no one else was. It was only him. They were right. looking at the wall that opened up and they went in, but only the aliens did, babe. Not the humans. They were on the outside of that door. They never went in. Okay. So no, they. I don't know. I don't. I think that I've every, seen the movie plenty of times. I, I, think I, I support your idea, but I really think everybody died except for the last person, the person who grabbed no, the key and ran. Because what about the guy that shot? He never got, he never did anything. He survived too. I he fell over he the guy and he shot in the air and he shot the people. I really don't think he did. Babe, they survived. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so moving on. Um, as our dogs are fighting behind us. I was thinking about the fact that it was the religion that came in to sub save. Are you okay? Yes, I always do this, babe. Continue. Oh, I'm just looking. Okay, anyway. Um, 
So religion came into it, and it was like the priest who was a savior. That was weird, right? Priests well, are saviors. Why is that weird? I thought that was And weird. it wasn't really the priest that was a savior. It was really Corbin Dallas that was a savior. Corbin Dallas, It was 100% yes. him. He's the one who figured out how to, well, actually it was the, the smaller priest that figured out how to open him up. Um, but then when they did, Corbin Dallas was like, all right, you do this, you do this, you do this. He's the one who needed to tell Lilu that he loved her in order for her oh. to destroy that thing. It was him who saved her from taking, getting taken from the police. Like it was Corbin Dallas. It wasn't the priest. The priest was a, like messenger. A, uh, a messenger or a watcher of the stones. Yeah. But he did a terrible job, so. Well, yeah, but he did a terrible job because he didn't know to expect it was going to happen during his time. I would say of him being a messenger is the best thing because he knew the language. He can translate. Yeah. So he was more of a messenger, yes. But how many people down did he expect it to happen? Huh? Okay, so he, like, he, it's so many hundred years later, 300? right? 300? Yeah. He was just anticipating it was going to be him. And he's like, yeah, it's me. Whatever. And then this perfect yeah. being comes to be Of course it's going to be him because he's there. They came back 300 years later. So, yeah, he knew it was going to be him. But he wasn't really thinking it was going to be him. Like, what do you I, mean? Okay, so. What are you talking about? <laughs> he was there at the, the little meeting to... when this thing came and he knew all about it already. He's like, don't shoot missiles at it. You're only going to make it more pissed off and get oh, bigger. No, no, and... no. I'm talking about prior. Like, he doesn't know who he is in the, the grand scheme of things. He's like, yeah, I'm going to, like, tell you this. This is what it is. But it could possibly not happen. I don't know what you're talking about. It's religion. Uh, anyway. It's not religion, babe. What do you mean? It's an evil that's trying to destroy the world. It has nothing to do with religion. My thought is that. Vito, I think he his never like Vito. brought out a cross and was like, no, no, no. please, Lord, save us. Like he never no, did religion wise. Like if like if he was supposed to be the person to help deliver this per other person, the perfect person, he's like, OK, cool. Like, he whatever. wasn't meant to deliver her. Yeah. But as a child growing up, he's like, OK, whatever. Like, yeah. But then now at this age of oldness, You're going back to a child, babe, we never even see him as a child. What are you talking about? Never mind. I was going to a place. Nobody understands. It's no, no one understands. Unless someone does and let us know, but I do not. Anyway, so we're going to move on. Uh, hey, black guy president. I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, Barack Obama. He's like the Barack Obama in that movie. Yeah, but better because he actually did shit. And he was like super nice and sweet. And the Corbin Dallas's mom was like, whoa, you don't sound like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, the president's an idiot. and You don't sound like an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fun. I love that. <laughs> All right. So I just like how they got Debo. Who's from Friday, this like gangster guy to play the president. You never seen Friday, babe? That's got it. That's one that's my next movie then. Friday oh God, is my don't next do movie. That to me. Yep. You're gonna like it. No, I won't. Yes, you will. It's funny. It's a funny movie. It has Ice Cube and it has Chris Tucker in it. I like Chris Tucker. He's in it. Great. <laughs> He's in all three of them or two of them, however many they had. But yeah, it's Friday, Friday after next, and then I think there's one. Are more. they scary? No, it's not scary. It's a funny movie. Anyway, um, but Debo is like a guy that was in prison in the movie. He gets out of prison, so he's like this gangster that goes to prison, and he's like this super big dude, and he like picks on people. He's just a gangster, and uh, he's in that movie, but uh, he's you know a bad guy or whatever. I'm not really a bad guy. He's just a gangster. But anyway, so now I like how they have him in the fifth element. I don't know what came out first. I, need, I might need to look that up. But uh, now they have him in fifth element. Fifth element could have came out first. But he's in fifth I element. He's like did. the president. And he's like this, you know, 
super sophisticated like per it's just weird seeing them in <laughs> friday like when you see friday you'd be like what the fuck <laughs> what happened to this person what the fuck is going on like when you see it like you haven't seen friday so you don't know what i'm talking about but for people who have seen it when you see debo because they know who debo that's his name in friday you see him and then you see him in fifth element you're just like oh that's why you were like debo and i was yeah, like debo who, who the, i don't know and it's I like when, like when you're like why is he scaring this person like that's what he did throughout the whole movie in friday he's like he's he's like six six and 300 pounds but like fucking solid muscle so a great president yeah, great. Yeah, Debo for president, guys. Debo for president. Debo for president. <laughs> well, not Debo. Let's have the guy that played the president in Fifth Element be <laughs> the actual guy who plays yeah, yeah, president. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Um, so going forward, after she starts talking, okay, if you were gonna could create a language, mm-hmm. would you not eliminate? stupid additives like what like what so was she was additive? like uh multi pass like very very straightforward that was english babe but it was straightforward when i when i was in korea i like to help people understand what i was doing i would like eliminate words we could like oh i need this oh yeah like, she did that even when she learned english she still said it very straightforward yeah straightforward yeah and i don't understand why we have to like make things so crazy hard well considering our english language has been around for however long it's been around hearing her talk sounds really weird because she's leaving out i guess like pronouns or nouns instead of saying you know i have a multi-pass she's just like Multipass. I multipass or something. Like she's multi-pass. leaving out. I guess that's adjective. I right? like hold it up to the mic, but I do not have a multipass. 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 <laughs> um, okay, so I'm very jealous. Multipass. Of the multipass. <laughs> no, of the priest. You want to know why? Why? Because he has a badass belt book. Oh, with the symbols? Yeah, yeah. I want to live that. I like that. How, they, how they made that a point to show. I mean, they obviously made a point to know who he is, like pointing out who this priest is. But obviously, if you say priest, I mean, we're going to know who he is anyway. But yeah, that was a pretty dope-ass belt buck. I'm pretty sure they sold it when that movie came out back the, in the uh, They did so. not, because I would have had that. Did you actually look for it? And no, I didn't. Exactly my point. I'm pretty sure if there was a hot topic back then in 1997. Oh, honey, there was. There was a hot topic. But then that's, they might not have had a hot topic. But they would have had it probably somewhere. Maybe. I know, I would have bought that shit too. Fucking so if there fit, is or, a belt buckle for the fifth element there. If someone has it, I would pay a hundred bucks for it. Not top dollar. But a hundred bucks. I would pay a hundred bucks for it. I would like to have that. And I would rock that shit every... I would even rock it at work and like tuck my shirt in the front so you can see it. Fuck yeah, I would. I'd build that for you. I would do that. That's a dope ass uh, freaking belt. All right. So we're going to fast forward to the diva. Holy shit vocals. Yeah, she's got some pretty hardcore vocals there. She has the pipes. She's an actual, like, fucking opera singer. I mean, opera singing is not hard. So, I mean, it's it's not easy. Oh, so I, I was like... That. I meant to say it is hard, but I was... <laughs> yeah, I was like, do you want to sing opera? Like, go for it. Fuck like, no. Have fun. I wouldn't be able to sing opera. But, like, even for males, like, there's male opera singers out there, too. And, I mean... Like, hearing her voice, I would go to an opera. Like, if it's, like, the way she said it, did it... That's how like, opera kind of like a little hip hop to it too. I would, but if it's just like, I mean, even the way she did it in the beginning, I liked it as well. But when she threw the hip hop in there, it has made it ten times better. Yeah, that's why Bruce Willis stood up first, and he was just like, "Fucking a," and then like, she died, and, and then, then he... she got shat. She got shat. She, <laughs> she got, got shacked. She got shat uh, right in her stones. Like she should have lived. <laughs> 
She no, she said because her stones were in her stomach and she got shot in the stomach. But the thing is, she had to die for him to get the stones. Yeah, because then otherwise he would have to cut her open alive or shoot her in the head first. Like I would Chris rather Tucker have her dead. That, that big beast. Oh my god! She's like, <laughs> Chris Tucker. I have a headache. I don't feel right. <laughs> Chris Tucker in this movie is the best thing ever. Oh my god. I was like that woman is like, uh, oh, have you said this before? No. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously he's lying. Oh my god. Oh, freaking Chris awesome. Tucker, thank you, thank you, thank you for this role. It's just crazy. And that's another thing, too. Seeing Chris Tucker in this and then seeing him in Friday, it's just like, what? <laughs> like, they completely changed their, like, roles around. Debo and Chris Tucker. It's, I mean, that's obviously not his real name. Obviously. Like, we actually, need to watch I think, this. uh, I want to say Debo passed away. I want to say that. I want to say You want to say that? Or are you going to say that? I think we that? looked it up. Uh, I think we looked up. Uh, I didn't look it up. Some time ago. When I was Don't. Okay, me. so ah, I just saw it. So Friday came out in 1995, and it's before Fifth Element came out in 1997. So Chris, Friday was before. Yep. Why so is seeing, why is is Chris Tucker like yep. prominent in there? Oh wow, he died in 2020 as well. Oh, that sucks. Yep. See, I because I, I looked this up not that long ago. Why are we like, depressing? Yeah, he passed away as well. But apparently, he was like. A super nice guy in real life. Uh, I was reading some of like the things about him, and it's like it, it's. I think it's just awesome how like these actors and actresses can be like. I know it's supposed to be one, but um, actors can, you know, be like this evil being in a movie, but like in real life, they're just like the complete opposite. They're like super happy go lucky. They like donate. Like, well, I mean. Keanu Reeves, he's not, he's never been an evil person, but like Keanu oh my God, Reeves, he's like, amazing. Apparently, he's a freaking saint. He's legit as a person. He rides a subway. He like donates to people. Like he actually cares. Yeah, he like, and same thing with uh, John Cena. He, him as well. He's don't. He's done a lot of donations and done a lot of like, uh, what is it like, social things or public things with people. Like he'll do that. Um, that uh, uh, when kids have can- what is that when kids have cancer and he goes and visit them I think he does that shit like every year oh or, or uh, uh, the Make a Wish yeah Make a Wish Foundation he's like on that repeatedly yeah but that that's the thing like if I was a celebrity I would just do it not for the celebrity I don't think like, he does it for that I think he does it because he wants to do it like. I, I didn't so. know he did that until I think someone, I think I you know told he, me or someone. I think he, I, I knew he did it, but I just thought it was for the the recognition it's because not like he it's was all like an op. He's like, I'm a wrestling dude. No, he's, he, I, 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 I think know. John Cena and Keanu Reeves are like almost on the same. Like, I don't know them personally, but from what I've been hearing about what they do for communities. Can we just for, add Johnny Depp on that too? I don't know anything about Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp did a lot of shit like that, and now oh, I, he's I, I like didn't know. he's being taken off because of the fact that Am- Amber Heard. Why is he getting taken off? It's not like he abused her; he was the one being abused. Oh, did you not hear? That fucker got taken off because Amber Heard accused him of abusing her, and so he's mm. no longer Captain Jack Sparrow. Mm. I'm so sorry. She ruined his career. She ruined his By life. By lying. Yep. That is awesome. Can we take her off of Aquaman? She is off of Aquaman. She better be. Because I'm going to boycott that shit. Especially after all this shit happened. Like, yeah, she's off. <laughs> she better be. Like, I, I think there's supposed to be a new Aquaman movie coming out this year or next this year. This year or next year. Something, One or two. Something but I, yeah, I think I'm, I started, read something about that. That they were trying to find. It was actually supposed to come out this year. But I think they had to postpone it. Because of this whole Amber Heard Good. shit. Don't, I think. Don't quote me on that. Can you but I think. reshoot the first one and I'll rewatch it? I mean. What is he eating? I have no idea. Well, whatever it was, I think he just swallowed it. Because he was chewing, but. Um, puppies, they just like to eat anything and everything. Sorry. But anyway, um, I mean, she is. 
pretty though, so I understand why no, Johnny Johnny Depp went for. I would rather punch myself in the dick than watch her. I bet you have a huge one too. Let me I see it. Really it do. Fucking whip it out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ruined tables. Oh, that's what he was eating. Whatever that is, he just what? spit it on my on my lap. Thanks, oh. bud. Um, he likes you. But yeah, like all around. Acting was freaking phenomenal. Chris Tucker is oh great. God. Bruce Willis is great. Milia Jovovich, great. Um, and then, and I, I really think she. I don't know if she got an Oscar for that movie, but she, she fucking she should have. have. If she, she didn't, I haven't looked up have. on it, and I don't want to like keep pausing and look up. Even it, we're on in Wi Fi, so it comes up pretty quick. But anyway, like she fucking did her shit on that movie. Like speaking that whatever language I don't know if it's actually a real language or not. I, I, th- I, I thought it was it Chinese, either. but that's just uh, me. But if it if it's not a real language, she fucking made it seem like it was a real language. Like she talked like it was one hundred percent. Like she was born and raised with it. Like that was just awesome. So I praise her for that movie and and also Resident Evil movies. Like I oh, love her in all fuck of those. Yeah, she was hot in that. I mean, she's hot. I think that was the oh. one she's hottest in. She wore like straps on her body. <laughs> I would, I do her, but I would pay a lot of money to watch that. Even though we're married, and I wouldn't have to. But I would pay a lot of money to watch that. <laughs> I would stand in line. I would pay stand the in line tickets twice and pay the same amount. I would actually double it on my own just because I want to see it so bad. Well, that's great. That's great to hear. That would be an awesome scene. And I'll record it just so I can watch it for the rest of my life. All right. So going for this movie. I'm just trying to like (laughs) glaze over the awkwardness. That's not awkward. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would agree. I'm just going to glaze over the awkwardness. I would watch it. Oh, God. (laughs) Anyway. So... The movie was great. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. My number is a nine. My number is a fifteen. Well, that's aggressive. I said it's my one of my. It's my it's second favorite. favorite movie. The thing is, I loved like every, like every step of the way through. You this were movie. laughing your ass off. I'm you surprised you were quoting you're not it. it a ten. You were quoting How it. How dare you not give Fifth Element a ten? That is grounds for divorce. Like, sign it up. Let's That's, go. That is grounds for divorce. But I really enjoyed the fact that he would, like, quote it through. And I was like, damn, you really do know this I've, I really don't know how many times I've seen it, but I have watched it quite a few. And I yeah, and he would just be it. like, she's perfect. And then he would be like, she's perfect. <laughs> it was really awkward. And I was very concerned. I freaking, I mean, I just, I know, I know that movie. And then, bzzz, <laughs> oh fucking shit i'm doing that like oh if people are annoying me <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna happen fucking chris tucker man chris fucking chris tucker. tucker all right so now we're gonna transition into our topic mm-hmm. aliens did you give the movie a 10 i gave it a nine did you give it a 10 why do I have to give it a 10? Because you have not given any movie a 10. Yes, I have. And this one, you said, this is one you first, that you said you liked it. You gave it all around All right, life. 10. I'll give it a 10. Thank give it a 10. You. Are you happy? Stop being one of those critics that want to give a movie a 10 where it's like, I don't want to give it a 10 because I got to keep my like uh, persona. Uh, uh. Oh my God! It's a fucking ten movie, okay? It's a fucking ten movie, okay? Are Thank you happy? You. Are you I'm happy? happy. You got a ten out of me. Moving forward with life. Are you? Because I'm <laughs> very concerned. <laughs> Moving forward, I think. <laughs> I don't know. That was really sexy, but I was like, God damn! Like you're not. <laughs> No, I am. I 100% am. I mean, if right, you gave it a so, 10, so I'm good. I mean, if you had gave it 11, I would have been better. But uh, okay. <laughs> just, just keep going up. <laughs> so we're going to talk about aliens now? No, we're not. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's our topic. Oh, yeah, I had the, I had the movie. That's right. Aliens, huh? Aliens. aliens. 
Fucking aliens. All right. No way. So I have a soft spot for aliens. I love them. I am. Is is my topic that I would be taught to. I thought I was supposed to have worst fears. That's the movie after the. No, you mean, sh- you mean topic? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. okay. After. So I'm a little too soon. Got He's it. a little too soon. Okay. So as you well know, we record frequently multiple movies, topics, and shit. And so he got a little confused. But no, today we're going to talk about aliens. And this is my favorite topic. We are going to talk about aliens. Aliens. Oh, God. (laughs) I was trying to, like, segue into something good because he was trying to, like, quiet the dogs, but they're not quieting. Um, So, aliens. Okay, so first and foremost... I read the Alien Handbook, which is the Alien Race book, which is on Google. If you Google it, it's amazing because it's actually very informative. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's great. Mm-hmm. I have not read it and probably won't because I'm not a reader. Yeah, but the thing is... You can it, read it to me. I would. As like bedtime stories. I would give you nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually terrifying. Because it talks about how there's different aliens out there. There's good versus evil. Oh, yeah. And the fact that the U.S. president, like, knows about all of them. And he's in cahoots with all of them. The president is? Mm Mm-hmm. Like, ours now or just the president in general? There's, like, a book in the United States that is the dark book. It's called, like, the black book, I think. It sounds like demonology. No, but no, no, no. It's like the dark book. And then like they're given the dark book when they become president. And then they like read the book. And so they become president. And they know all the dark secrets of the past and the four, like the four, whatever. And so then they become knowledgeable of what's happening so I mean, all as of a president them, you got to kind of know what's happening on the outside of earth so yeah. yes but the thing is if you read the alien race it actually makes a lot of sense because historically aliens have come to earth historically i saw or read that aliens are just us from the future like oh the human god, race. do you really believe that? I don't know. I don't think so. But because that means that our planet. Must I don't know. Have, I don't think so. Wait, wait, wait. That means our planet must have evolved to where we have like bigger heads, bigger brains, are way smarter, and have huge eyes. So either something must have happened to the Earth, or or granted, something must have happened to the Earth to make us move somewhere else. Like that movie. Uh, I think it's called Titan. With the guy from one of the our, our Terminator movies, he was in it. Uh, to where, where we had to move, I think in that movie they had to move to like planet Mars or some shit like that. But they had to go through this trial thing, unless something like that happened. But if we're just like staying on Earth and Earth kind of stays the way it kind of is right now, then why? How? How did the human race? If aliens are just us in the future, end up being that? Unless it's like oh God, a million years a in point. the future. Then that could make sense. Like the Earth is not going to freaking. But last how is it us though in the future? Because if we because suck, we right evolved. Now. That's why. I mean, of course, it's going to be evil aliens. Are going to be good aliens. There's going to be poor, rich. I mean, if they have like a currency like that, it's still going to be kind of the same concept. Except, oh my god, they're apparently way advanced. So, and that makes sense why they're so advanced because. Obviously, over the years, over the years, over the years, we uh, what a cure knowledge, right? A cure knowledge. So then, like, bam, you know, thousand years or two thousand, or I don't know how far in advance they are. Then that would kind of make sense, but I don't really know. That makes a lot of sense, actually. But the thing is, like, okay, so I'm building off of what we should have been like as a society. So there is a huge theory out there that we would not have built as fast as a society without alien knowledge. So coming from Aztec, Egyptian knowledge, building off of that, 
we would not have spurred on the knowledge to for technology to build where we are now. I mean, that would make sense. Right? But like... We're done. Where, where do they get this knowledge from? What, finding it in fossils? Like, where did it come from? They found scan disk drives or jump drives or what? I have no idea. So aliens can... Like, you saw dark skies. They can come and just fuck with you just for fun. Well, one Don't you think they can give you, like, insight? Oh, so like, oh, another movie we got to watch that puts me on since we're talking about aliens is, um, is, uh, 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 um, fourth kind. No, uh, oh no. What is the name of it? I can picture like the, the, the title, the title scene. Describe it. Um, and I just, cause I saw it the other day. I think it's like in detail. I can't remember. The chick that's in it, I think she's a redhead, but she's a known actress. And, uh, oh, almost had it. Um, apparently they find something and this alien ship comes and it's just sitting there. Oh, uh, uh, Arrival. Arrival. Yes, The Arrival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking love that movie, too. That was a good one as well. That was a good one. That kind of. So it's like that, like where there's not actually communication, but there is communication between aliens and humans but like it's not what we're doing it's not talking it's just all up here it's like um telecom but you don't think we can communicate with alien life forms i don't know hmm. i have no idea like i i mean can you stop chasing your tail it depends if they are us in the future then yeah we should be able to communicate and if they are as sophisticated and smart as they're portrayed to be then yeah we can communicate with them they would have already had a way of communicating with us as well so yeah i'm pretty sure we can communicate with them and if we got technology from them then how that's how we would have gotten technology from them if we can't communicate with them okay so if anybody's watched american horror story like the short stories and watched the recent i really love that because it was talking about how in the 1950s it's like, hey. You can keep going, man. I'm oh just my looking God. back. <laughs> that was creepy. It was really creepy. It's a dog on a couch. It's not that she creepy. She was smelling weird, and I was like, what? Oh, my Lord. Anyway, so if you watch American Horror Story and then short stories, um, they were watching it, and then they were there, and it was like, ah. I lost myself. That made a lot of sense. I lost where I was going with that. I was just turning around looking. You did not have to stop what you were thinking or talking about. I did. I see that. Because you were I've tripping lost... out about a dog sniffing a couch. <laughs> she was being really weird. She was being She's really a weird. dog, babe. They're not supposed to be normal. Define normal. I can't. Exactly. Because there's not a definition for it. Anyway, I believe aliens exist, and I believe they're among us. Well, okay, so how about this? Mm -hmm. What if all these, uh, all these um, possessions and demonology things are not actually like ghosts and demons? What if they're aliens? I could support that. Because they encompass somebody completely. And that's... I Especially feel if they're supposed to be that advanced. They found ways to mm -hmm. in, inhabit bodies and brains and shit like that. Like, um, I think I think we saw this movie together. But it was like those teenagers that end up stumbling upon this like rock or some spaceship or some shit. And they're like, oh, let's go check it out. And they go check it out. And then apparently... End up can like start. They start seeing these like aliens, and they come oh. and uh, I don't remember the name of this movie, but they end oh, up chaos, killing them. The chaos theory. I don't know if it was that. Where they all go camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all go camping. And they see. And it's it. like, oh, they hey. see the shit in the sky. They see the shit in the yeah. sky. It's like dots or something like that, and they end up moving, and they like try to mess with it, and then start the shit started attacking them. It's like and shit like men that. Men in black come in like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The men in black come, but the, those are the aliens, I think. It's like, uh, they're... Maybe. They're, they're um, 
protectors of the aliens or some shit like that. But that was actually a pretty interesting movie too. It's like so things like that can fucking happen. Yes. And we wouldn't and people Ooh <laughs> that's another theory. Oh my god, it's just bouncing. So what if we think it is it's kind of the same thing, but what if we think ghosts and demons are a thing because the aliens implanted it to hide their cover? Mm. I don't know. I I know ghosts and aliens exist, so I have but no But what I, if they don't? We're just meant to It's like that uh but that shit that you showed me the other day where it's like um uh, the butterf- butterfly effect mm. where you think like Jif and Jiffy or some shit like that. It could be something like that. Like we think something is the way it is because of something manipulating it. And now we think differently. That could sure. be, that could be a real, a real hardcore thing. Jesus. That's scary to think about. No, but I really know that aliens and ghosts exist. How do you, so aliens and ghosts exist. Yes. Obviously, you've seen them haunt our house. I haven't seen them haunt a the house. When I stayed at my boy's house a long time ago. So you know ghosts shook, exist. But I don't I don't know if that was and I saw a figure in the in the doorway, but And shaking the bed frames. But I didn't see anything shaking it. But something shook it. But something did shake it, yes. That you couldn't explain. But I can't explain aliens either, so what's the difference? Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. What if ghosts and demons are not actually ghosts and demons? They're aliens making us think that they're ghosts and demons. I just said that, and that could be true. They have Touché. that power. Touche. They do have the power. <sighs> that could be a thing, babe. Like, it legit ah, could be this. a thing. <laughs> I love this theory. Like, now, unless... I mean, even... Because the brain is, I mean, it's just like, what, you only use, like, what, 10% of our brain? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is the other 90% doing? There's actually a theory out there that adolescent children orchestrate, like, fucking hauntings. It's really weird. Like, they're saying, hey, they have so much energy emanating off of them that they're making things, like, happen. Kids are? No, adolescents. Like, when they're going through puberty. Mm -hmm. and so it's like a thing that they're saying hey oh they're going through puberty it's they're emanating like energy off of them making it seem like haunting slash whatever is happening i mean i would have to see it for myself but you if it's like a tv show or something you can't really god no it's not a tv show it's like 1970s shit no i mean i'm i'm a person of I like to see like facts and shit. Like I don't mm-hmm. like to read about it or like I, if I read about something, I might like bring it up. But like, do I 100 percent believe it? No, like I would I would have to kind of like see it for myself or you see it for yourself. Like someone I know see it for themselves, but not like like, uh, you know, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this. But like era of 51, you know, like I don't know if do I know it really exists? No, because I've never been there. But, like, I'm if it does exist, I'm pretty sure, like, if it's that high classified, even some of the military people won't even know about it. So it's, like, things like that. Like, does it really okay, exist? Okay, so, but the thing is, people storming Area 51. Yeah, and it never actually happened. No, supposedly. it did. No, it didn't. I had friends go to Area 51. Okay, well, the big, like... 30, 50,000 people that were supposed okay, to go. Okay, I don't know about that. That but didn't happen. No, but like, I maybe had like go. 100 people or 10 or 15 might have actually did it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so if you had your friends go, then I want to talk to your friends then. Maybe they, they should be a guest on the podcast. They didn't say anything. They were scared. Because they probably got threatened. Hmm. I'd do the same. I'm pretty sure there's like hardcore... What defenses around that thing? There probably ha- for there miles. Has to be. Probably for miles in every direction. So yeah, I don't think anyone can just stroll up on Area Fifty One. So how do people think that they can just like storm on Fifty One? 
because they're dumb. You can't. Oh, I I was asking it. I and I but and I gave right. a literal answer. They're dumb. If it's that classified oh of a place, no one is just going to be able to walk up to area like. Doo, 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 doo. I'm just going to go to the front 50? gate of Area 51. No, did I get a code? I, would I mean, go. that would be dumb. I would like to take a tour of that place. Fuck yeah. Especially if there's, you know, that's I like mean, the, the shit alien. that's happened to me, I will tell you that in great detail so I can see the aliens. Pretty What's sure that? if you do go to Area 51 and take you on this big tour, they're probably going to flash you like Men in Black does. Great. And make you forget everything. At least I went. Or maybe you have been there and you just don't remember. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Or I've been there like 27 times. So like, yeah. Please stop. And it's like you actually work there, and this is like. <laughs> this is just like the play thing. Yeah, this is the, the play thing, but then like. But how would I even work? Because I see you every day. Well, that's when I go to Maybe work. they flash you too. Maybe. Like when you're asleep, you just get flash in your sleep. Just like, bing. Just happens. Well, I'm sleeping, so how would that work? They can people can open your eyes while you're asleep, babe. Oh my god, that's why there's like lights going on. Probably. And people touching my toes. Probably. I don't like that. Or they're flashing your toes. Oh my god. <laughs> going to haunting. So I guess the major question is do you believe in aliens? Hundred percent, yes. Hundred percent. I don't. Hundred. I think they're you fake don't? as fuck. I'm just kidding. Fuck yeah. Bro. I was about to punch you in the face. <laughs> if ghosts and demons and the devil and the man upstairs or woman exist, then there's definitely aliens. There is aliens. Yes. One million comma hundred percent. Oh my God. Read the alien race. It's on Google. Just look it up. Seriously. It's going to give you a retrospect of what the alien race is. It's amazing. So it's like a YouTube thing? Or is it an actual book? It's a PDF. A PDF. Okay. It's a a rundown. It's like, it's a, I don't want to say it's a storybook because that's so. Children-y? Childish? But it's detailed on what the aliens are around us. Oh, I'm pretty sure Amer- uh, Americans, aliens live among us. It's they just do. Like, uh, no, no, that, that's part of the thing. That yeah, it's they like do. men in black. Like you, some some aliens, you can't tell that they're aliens, and they look just like us. You oh could be God. an alien for all I know. Damn. I could be an alien for all you know. You're not. I don't think I am because I haven't like. No, nothing he's a baby. weird has happened. So. Me, 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 me. I'm a little, little terrible. No, I'm a little sad, non-alien. I know. It's depressing. Anyway, so we believe in aliens. Wait, you do. I do believe in aliens, yes. And so does Arrow, our little puppy. (laughs) Arrow's like, yes, I believe in aliens. As soon as we said, do you believe in aliens, he jumped on my lap and he's like, Dad, I believe in aliens. Yes, all the dogs believe in aliens. Uh, We hope you do too, but if you don't, that's okay. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your theories are. Please email us. We would love to find out. And if we give, what is it, permission to talk briefly about it on our next episode, that would be awesome too. Or our next episode of I'm Not Qualified, that would be awesome. Yeah, so you you can email us at um, infothenight69 at gmail.com. Or you can go to our website which is in for the night podcast.com and then you can email us there and you can discuss it because definitely is a deep discussion i'm super excited about it i love it i'll be cool if some like doctor comes out of like the woodwork and he's oh just, my like God. and he just fucking goes on and on and on about like hey alien Ooh. this and alien that i'll be like holy shit i will read that Thank I you. would sit down and read that 100. I would probably like call into work to read that. He doesn't read shit, but he would read I that. I would read that 1 million comma 100%. Anyway, so we hope you enjoyed our podcast today. We hope you gave you a reason to stay in for the night. And the dogs definitely enjoyed. Hopefully, sorry if y'all heard them wrestling in the back. They're like literally right behind us. So 
Appreciate y'all tuning in. And until next time, peace out. Peace out.